love, peace, and grace from the eternal heavenly Godhead, including the almighty, merciful, and loving God the Father, the Father of lights, Yah, His Holy Son, Yeshua, Emmanuel, or Jesus Christ, who is God manifested in the flesh, and the Holy Spirit of truth, who is God living in the true followers of Christ, God's saints, who keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus. On this most beautiful, solemn day, the Lord's holy seven-day Sabbath, the Lord's Day, a beautiful day indeed. Blessed Sabbath, happy Sabbath, joyeux Sabbath, Feliz Sabado to all of God's saints around the world. In these end times, Paul writes in his second epistle to Timothy, chapter 3, verses 1 to 5, as a sign of the end times, he speaks about the attitudes that people will have and that we see around us. In the verses that I just mentioned, we read, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. We see that today. We see that today all around us. People are so high-minded of themselves. Can someone say the Kardashians? And it's not to condemn people, but according to what Paul writes in these end times, in these perilous end times, he writes about the attitudes of people. So these attributes, these negative attributes, point to the attitudes of people in these end times. But what does God say that we should do? In Proverbs chapter 19, verse 20, we read, Hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. We are to hear counsel and receive instruction from this book of instructions, the Bible, the King James Bible. We are to follow counsel and instructions from God. Further, we read in Micah chapter 6, verse 8, a very beautiful verse, which says, He had showed thee, O man, what is good, and what doth the Lord require of thee, but to do justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. We are to do justly. Do what is good, be just, show mercy, have compassion, and walk humbly with God. Walk humbly with God. Is that what people today are doing? No, they're not. You look at some Christians, Sunday-keeping Christians. You look at them, you look at their preachers, they're boastful arrogant again it's not to condemn it's just to expose them so that you don't follow their example again we are to do justly be just with your fellow man regardless of their status be just with them and to love mercy show mercy as well be just show mercy and walk humbly with thy God. That's what he wants you to do. Especially in these end times. 
be a light to those around you. I know these words sometimes are simplistic, and I know it may be boring to some, but this comes from the holy written word of God, the Bible. And Micah, being moved by the Holy Spirit, says that we are to do justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. Further, in Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 3, we read, Seek ye the Lord, not seek fame and fortune and money and wealth. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness, it may be. Ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Seek ye the Lord. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. In his beautiful Sermon on the Mount, undoubtedly the most beautiful sermon or presentation ever given by anyone who has ever stepped foot on earth, the Lord Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, Yeshua, speaks about those who are meek. We are to be meek and humble. Seek ye the Lord. Do you seek the Lord? Or do you seek fame and fortune and attention as the Kardashians like to do? Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. What is righteousness? The righteous and holy shall be with God. As per Revelation chapter 22, verse 11. The righteousness of Christ is what we must seek. He never sinned. Christ never sinned. He never broke any of his holy ten commandments. We are to seek that righteousness. We are to be servants of obedience unto righteousness. As per Romans chapter 6, verse 16. We are to seek righteousness. Paul spoke about it and wrote about it in the book of Romans. Again, Romans chapter 6, verse 16. And Zephaniah as well, a prophet from the Old Testament, says we are to seek righteousness. The righteousness of Christ. The Bible speaks about God's judgment, about His righteousness. The Eternal One is true and is truth. And he is synonymous with righteousness. There's no iniquity. There's no sin, obviously, with God. And therefore, since we are made in the image of God, in the likeness of God, spiritually speaking, and also physically speaking, we are to be like him, like Christ, and to abide in his righteousness, in his meekness, and to seek him every day and every second of our lives. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. So seek the Lord, seek his righteousness, seek his meekness so that God may protect you from his anger which, which he will unleash on the wicked and those who will accept the mark of the beast. As per Revelation chapter 16 verse 2, when God will unleash his seven last plagues a just and offended God. He is just, but he will be offended by the wicked who have not been obeying him, but rather obey somebody else, the Pope, who will tell the world to accept his mark of Sunday rest and worship. And God will unleash his seven last plagues on those who are the wicked, on those who are disobedient to God. Therefore, we are to seek the Lord in humility. We are to seek His righteousness by being servants of obedience. Christ is perfect. He is the perfect pattern to follow. He never broke His holy law of love, His holy Ten Commandments. That's the righteousness of Christ. We are to seek His righteousness. We are to seek Christ's beautiful meekness as well. 
We are to obey God in everything. And we are reminded by Isaiah. To seek ye the Lord. The same words written by Zephaniah. In Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 3. But here Isaiah in chapter 55 verse 6 says. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Don't be found being boastful. Don't be found being heady. Don't be found being blasphemers and proud and arrogant. Humble yourself before God. Now is the time to get right with Christ. Get right with Christ. Be just. Love mercy. Walk humbly with your God. Walk humbly with Him. As Christ was humble here on earth. Be just. Love mercy. And walk humbly with God. Seek ye the Lord. Seek His righteousness. Seek meekness. And be with your God. Don't be like those who Paul is describing in the second epistle written to Timothy, chapter 3, verses 1 to 5. Being covetous, bolsters, proud, blasphemers, unthankful, unholy, fierce. Don't be like that. Don't be high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Don't be like that. Get ready for Christ's return in the clouds of heaven. In the clouds of heaven. As I mentioned many times in my previous presentations, the feet of Christ will not touch this sin-filled earth. So whosoever claims to be Christ and walks on this sin-filled earth is a fraud a fake, and an imposter. It will be nothing more than Satan in the flesh, impersonating Christ. So do not be like these individuals, to be lovers of their own selves, bolsters, proud, blasphemers. These individuals will not inherit the kingdom of God. They will not, but rather they will be part of the second death, as per Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. Unbelievers, the fearful, idolaters, fornicators, and those mentioned right here in the second epistle written by Paul to Timothy, again, chapter 3, verses 1 to 5. Don't be like them. Turn to Christ now. There's no time for delays. Time is running out. Time is running out. And I'm speaking to you in, whole, in all humility and meekness. Time is running out. Examine yourselves. Look at yourself. And ask yourself. And look at yourself. And ask yourself, am I covetous? Am I a blasphemer? Am I unholy, unthankful? Am I being fierce? Am I an accuser? And if you are, stop it. And read these beautiful verses that I shared with you in Micah chapter 6 verse 8. To seek the Lord in Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 3. To seek the Lord, to seek His righteousness by keeping His holy ten commandments. And when you keep His holy ten commandments, you sin not. And to seek His, his meekness. Seek the Lord is also mentioned again in, in Isaiah chapter 55 verse 6. We are encouraged by Isaiah, by Zephaniah, and by Christ himself 
to seek God, to seek Him, and you shall do well. And abide in His righteousness. Abide in His meekness. And obey Him in everything. Have the faith of Christ and keep also the holy Ten Commandments of God, which define His love. And when you do, you will be considered as a saint of God. And you will be with your heavenly Father and see His holy face. As per Revelation chapter 22, verse 4. Isn't that what you want? May the love, peace, and grace of the Most High God be with you in these evil and troubling end times. So be it. Amen.